Hi, and welcome back to the Potato Expo 2019 here in Austin, Texas. I'm Bob Larson from the Ag Information Network of the West. And joining me today are two gentlemen from Cirrus Imaging, which uh, is a company that, as I was walking around the Potato Expo, they their graphics caught my attention. It looked like something out of a NSA or CIA spy novel, you know, and with all of these graphic images from space, it looked like. And uh, But what they do is about aerial intelligence and analysis. and for crops in specifics. And so we'll start with Dustin first here. Things are, this is about the technology that we have at our at our disposal today and, and how you guys are using it. What 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 is it about your technology that, that helps out our, uh, our potato growers, our farmers in general? Yeah, um, really what our technology does is it's aerial imagery on a multi-spectral and thermal capacity. Um, what it helps growers do is identify problems in season. Um, and catch, capture things seven to ten days before the naked eye would see anything. And that allows growers to get in front of the problems and act proactively instead of reactively. Sure. And it's, you know, technology is just changing so fast, it's, it's hard to keep up with for us lay people. But um, for you guys, it, it, it's moving it pretty quickly as well, right, Aaron? Yeah, it's an ever-changing market, but uh, Ceres has really positioned themselves with some of our proprietary um, uh, indices and layers to, to be the number one player in the marketplace and we're always trying to add new features and, and come up with new uh, new ways for, to, for the farmers to generate ROI and really either by efficiencies or quality of their crops. Sure and a lot of times when like the graphics I was talking about if you see those you think those are like satellite Im images but you guys used fixed wing for your uh, operation then right? Yeah that's correct Bob. Um, the reason for that is that we get a high resolution image, but we can cover a lot of acres and really be efficient with that. It's that sweet spot in, in, in both capturing and providing a quality product back. Sure. And is a lot of uh, a term I hear a lot of people using when, when we're talking about technology is real time. Are, are, are your customers, are, are they getting this information that you're getting, uh, that you're providing them in real time, or is there any sort of delay? or? Great question. Uh, the processing time between when the image is captured, it's then orthomosaic. Uh, many images are taken, they're orthomosaic, they're stitched into these indices, and then they're turned around and delivered to the growers in 24 to 48 hours. Kind of like getting my MRI on my shoulder where they have different... <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's great. Well, what kind of uh, feedback are you getting from your customers? Are they seeing a lot of uh, effectiveness with the, with the product you're, you're providing them? Yeah, especially here uh, at the potato conference, um, our potato growers are seeing a lot of really uh, interesting feedback with the irrigation pieces. They can really fine tune those the center pivots so they can catch nozzle issues or overwatering or plug pivots. Then they can go back in and actually add fertility if add needed. And uh, we've had a lot of them actually not, like I said, just efficiency, but the quality. Like if the French fried potatoes and, and some of that, that they need a higher quality potato, they're able to achieve this. And so, and so you, you, you can adjust all of the settings and things like that to meet the needs of different types of potato growers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, Series isn't just tied to potatoes, even though we're at the Potato Expo, we have a, a whole array of uh, products that we can go across the sector, the crop sector, and uh, and make them efficient for each one. Very good. And uh, any changes or breakthroughs, Dustin, that uh, you guys are excited about that uh, your customers uh, should be looking forward to in the months, years ahead? Yeah, uh, one unique aspect of series imaging is we're driven by science. Um, over half the company is in the science field, in the image processing and in the actual science behind the indices. Uh, so they're looking at things like providing cumulative stress index, um, end of season analytics that allow growers to understand the changes and the results of those changes as well as things that were affected negatively. Um, and other things we're looking to do is add value in the arena of um, providing the imagery quicker and sure. um, of course AI and machine learning is something the team is looking into to help detect anomalies quicker and get that out to them. Well that's yeah in today's uh, growing world it's, that's couldn't be any more important than uh, helping helping people do more with less. Exactly and so <clears throat> an interesting way to look at the imagery it's a good way to take a first step into the world of precision agriculture sure. um, without having to do an entire equipment overhaul or, or make a large investment. It's a way for growers to implement an active management profile 
um, by utilizing imagery. Very good. Well, Dustin, Aaron, thank you very much for joining us today from uh, Cirrus Imaging. I'm Bob Larson from the Ag Information Network, and we'll be right back.